Well done, Hires. You've ruined one of probably one of your best games you guys have ever developed. And it's not even out of beta. Okay, let's be honest, that the game was never getting out of beta. Anyway, yo, how's it going, YouTube? It's me, Dark, and welcome back to another episode of Dark Rants, the series where I rant about stuff. You know, yeah. This time, it's different. I would usually say, oh, it's just some stupid rant, and has nothing to do with the dev of the game. But no, this time, it's different. It, this has everything to do with the devs of the game. Hi res, I'm pointing fingers at you, and this is no laughing matter. Today, I'm ranting about the OB64 card crisis. Yeah. Before we start, I'd like to say thanks to Baby Jess, a fellow Paladins YouTuber, who helped me out, given like helped me out by giving me ideas on what to talk about and giving me the idea to make this video uh, as a whole. You know. Uh, yeah. Be sure to sub to her channel, which will be in the description. She does Paladin videos. Actually, wait. After this. After this, after this update, who's going to be making Valorant videos, alright? Anyway, let's get on with this rant. So, if you don't know what's going on, what the new card system is, well, where have you been? It's been discussed everywhere. But for those of you who don't know what's, go what's going on, basically, in the newest update, Hyrus are removing Essence and making all cards unbound, meaning they're all free. Sounds good, right? Wrong. All the cards you have will be set to level 1, instead of you choosing what level you want your card to be. Like before you would buy a card, put in your loadout, and choose level 1, 2, 3 or 4 to what you want. But now, the only way to level up cards is by getting duplicates. And how do you get duplicates? Through chests. And how do you get chests? With gold. And what happens when you run out of gold, but still want the cards you want? Two things. Either you grind out the game, or you use money. So, this has just become pay to win, or grind to win. I mean, a, lo a lot of grind, maybe even both, but you see that it's much harder to get the loadout you want, you know, like, before you could just, like, get a new champion, just make the loadout, and it's just the loadout you want, but now you just can't do that anymore, so Tyra's had to ruin that. So, let's talk about how this will affect game modes. So how will this affect casual or should I say quick play and comp? Well as for quick play it's going to be unbalanced as hell. You have people like us, like me, who've been playing for some time with, le with card levels of 3 and 4. And then you've got people who just started with level 1 cards. You see how that's unbalanced? Like wow. As well as this, where people will like, this will peep, I can't speak, this will lead people to go to comp since like it's more balanced which will need more noobs in comps and yeah, like comp will be a new casual and like you've got people who take the game really seriously and noobs it's just not gonna work speaking of comp, it may sound good but that in comp all cards are level 3 because everything is balanced as, as like and that may be right but if all cards are level 3 then people will just have to pick the best cards so now most people will have the same loadout before you would hardly have two of the same champs in this, having like the same playstyle, if that makes any sense. Basically, say if you have two maves battling each other, yeah? In the old patch, you could only, you would have like one mave having maybe a loadout dedicated to, I don't know, a prowl and stuff like that, and the other mave having it de dedicated to like pounce. But now, most loadouts will just be the same, everyone's gonna have the same playstyle, it's just not gonna be as fun to play or like to watch in like say the esports scene, it's just not gonna be as fun. So, legend loadouts aren't the only thing that are affected by this. We also have every champ get having an extra legendary card. And boy, some of these cards, new legendary cards, are like too overpowered. You would think Hyros would just look at these and have second swords, but no, no. OP is just an understatement. Let's, let me give you some examples. First we have Genos, whose new legendary is like, is star split, is for his star splitter and that it does now 600 damage every 0.4 seconds and wow that is broken as hell like wow right now it does about 120 damage or so and you can see the, the difference in damage I sh there should be a video in the top right maybe? I don't know, somewhere on the screen I'll give you an example next we have Cassie with a new legendary called Just Breeze which lets her crossbow do up to 75 additional damage over 100 units 
there should be a video showing how overpowering this is and how broken this is. Again, somewhere on the screen. Like this is just so broken. Next, Fernando, the close range frontline. You know? Oh wait, not anymore. The new legendary Dragonfire Lance, 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 whatever you want to say, makes his Flame Lance now shoot mini fireballs that do 150 damage for every 0.2 seconds. There's this still looks the same as before but the range of the lance lance i don't i don't know is ridiculous let's look at the video and how far this guy can go with fernando and so it's just so broken and that's just three out of like, so many of these broken legendary cards So after all the feedback that's been on Reddit and other Twitter and other social media, whatever, yeah, Harris are still committed to this. They don't want to change a thing about it. I mean, they're trying to change a few things, but it's not going to fix anything. I mean, if like this releases into the full game, which hasn't happened yet, thankfully, it will be disastrous. So guys, play as much power as you can, because after this update, it's just gone destroyed. Boom. Just... Pirates gonna ruin the game and probably lose over like half of its play player base probably. They're working on things to make it better. Like this this was posted the other day on the forum. But still this doesn't fix anything. It's still gonna be broken, it's still gonna be unbalanced. The only way to fix this is to just get rid of the unbound things as a whole and fix these goddamn legendaries. Oh my god. Anyway, that's enough ranting for one day. All, all we do now is hope Hyres don't ruin the game. If they do, I'm gonna miss it. So it's time to move on to other games. Maybe Overwatch, maybe Battle Right. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe for more, join the Discord, links in the description, and I'll see you all in the next one. Wow.